coming at you live for a YouTube video. And, um, you know, coming down into the vault, got all the community stickers, and I'm going live from my phone for the first time, so it might be a little bit awkward, but there's Alicia. Say hi, Alicia. Hi. Okay, so we got we to gotta pull a couple of things. Uh, you know, I thought it was very appropriate to uh, talk about something tonight that, you know, is, is important to me, and it's important to any business owner. Uh, it's a, a facet of business where we say, are you working in your business or are you working on your business, right? So, you know, I'm on, I'm on a 12 plus hour day. Uh, JR was here with me all day today. Uh, Kristen was here today for a few hours. Alicia's been here for a few hours. And it's been a long day. Let me see. Can, am I straight like this? Can you can you see me normally, or am I are my sideways now? This is a little bit new. I'm trying to do this from my phone, guys. Oh, is this better? I'm straight. Oh, this is more comfortable anyway. I thought I, I thought I was trying. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be doing it in in landscape, and I guess I'm supposed to be doing it in portrait. Uh, but. Let's see, you got a couple orders that paid, uh, right? So here's what's happening right now. Right now, what you're, what you're witnessing uh, is me pulling orders while Alicia's been wrapping for hours. Uh, and you can just see, these are all the orders that she's wrapped so far, okay? Uh, it's a lot. It's going to be a busy day. Uh, I just gave you iCoindy, right? Um, uh, I got to give you Nestor. Here you go. Soflo Silver. Uh, and there's one other person that paid. So what I'm doing right now is I'm working in my business and not on my business. Uh, let's see. What's up? Maskless Tender, Shrekky Lou, uh, Mark, Double Dog Dave. I want to thank you guys. Crazy Train, uh, Alicia. Hey, Alicia, get back to work. You're not supposed to be in here. Uh, Nate, uh, you know, so what I'm doing right now is the opposite in many ways of what I really should be doing. Uh, I'm assisting in wrapping and pulling orders and doing these things that if you have a business at, at a real level or with potential to grow... You need people to help you with that. That's called opportunity cost, right? Hey, Nestor, I just pulled your order, baby. Just just pulled it. Um, so if you're, you know, running a business, right? Oh, there's another one. Attorney, Lion Tribe, right? If you're running a business, you have to do what you do best, I think I got them all. I think I got them all. But I have to do what I do best. What do I do best? My strengths on social media, right, uh, involve more uh, communicating with you guys, developing our relationships, um, selling, right? Shreki Lou just paid. All right. So... And it really is important when you're running a business to focus on what you can do that others can't. So, yes, sir, Eddie Martinez, numero uno. So it's really important for you to focus on what you're best at, you know. And any moment uh, that you're focusing on other things is lost opportunity. We call that opportunity cost right? If I can be selling and I'm just going to make up numbers. If I can be selling and making $10 an hour selling, right? But I can pay somebody $5 an hour to wrap. Well, Alicia doesn't, Alicia doesn't make quite that much, but, <laughs> but if I can pay somebody $5 an hour to wrap and I can make $10 an hour selling, I should not spend any time wrapping theoretically, right? But of course, the reality is 
that we all get stuck in our business. Uh, working on our business means uh, laying out a plan and implementing a plan that helps you grow, right? Uh, how can I streamline my processes? How can I expand uh, my web presence? How can I uh, expand my social media presence? I do very little on Facebook, although I have in the past. How can I expand my merchandise page, right? How can I increase uh, <laughs> Nike hour wages in China? That's like $5 a month, bro. Um, you know, and, and that's all really important to understand, right? Because if we're doing things that other people can do or should do, we're losing opportunities. Uh, and in a perfect world, uh, we try not to lose these opportunities. In an imperfect world, you know, we've got this. And Alicia's just trudging away and it's a mess and it's disorganized. And, you know, we have stuff that needs to be put away. Yes, those are type two eagles, just a few. You know, stuff that needs to be organized, and there's never enough hours in the day. Uh, right now, during COVID, it's particularly a challenge. You know, uh, Alicia works full time; she can only work for me uh, a certain number of hours. Uh, Kristen has uh, another job; uh, she can only work for me a certain number of hours. You know, this business in particular, because it, it's so close and intimate, you have to really trust the people around you, and that's super important. Uh, so I have people around me that I can trust. They just can't give me all the time I need always. So then what happens, you know, then I get stuck working in my business instead of on my business. So Steve Hammond's in the house, Terry Thrasher. Uh, oh, look at that. I got some of my, my Texas people in here. Love you, Shrekie Lou. Uh, you know, and these things are important because what happens is we can get stuck in a rut. Like, honestly, I'm stuck in a little bit of a rut. You know, I, I have to do a lot of things that I shouldn't be doing. Uh, I'd love to be doing more on Facebook. I'd love to be doing more on eBay. I'd love to be developing my website more. You're becoming a victim of a certain level of success, right? And TB just paid. See? And, you know, I have to do this because if I don't do it, if I don't do it and stay on top of it, it gets really hard. It gets backed up. And that leads to disorganization. And that's, that's a business killer. So it, it, at a certain point, you make a choice between disorganization and organization and working in the business to, to keep it where it's at. And you sort of hit uh, everything is stacking NYC. My eBay page is stacking NYC. Uh, my website is stackingnyc.com. I have stacking NYC on Facebook. I have stacking NYC on Twitter. Uh, everything, YouTube, stacking NYC, Google stacking NYC sometimes. But, uh, I want to hear about this. Same problems over here, brother. Can't find labor to help. Stuck working on stuff every day. I should be delegating out. Absolutely. Uh, and, and sometimes it's okay. If, if you know, like today is a particularly busy day. Uh, if this wasn't the norm, I wouldn't be uh, inclined to talk about this, but because uh, this tends to be my daily, you know, I'm going on hour 13 and there's no end in sight. And so I'm in trouble this week because not only am I having this ultra busy week, these are all people that are, that are invoiced that haven't quite paid yet. So I'm going to have a super busy shipping day Friday. But guess what Friday is? I have to go get my daughter in New York, right? And it'll happen. It'll happen. Uh, and then what? Saturday, because I'm a glad for punishment, we have a community gall, community gall 2021, baby. We got this. And so I have a whole spreadsheet I have to do, and it's going to happen. Uh, but the hours come from where? They come at the expense sometimes of family and friends. They come sometimes at the expense of health. Uh, they come sometimes at the expense of self-care. You know, uh, Alicia sometimes reminds me, did you, you, know, did you eat today? <laughs> did you take a shower today? <laughs> you know, uh, and I'm only half kidding, half. But hey, take it easy over there. All right, easy peanut gallery. But, um, <laughs> you know, this type of dedication comes 
at a at a cost. Yeah, it's listen. I always appreciate quick payment, uh, of course. But um, you know, you guys know I never mind working with people. Uh, self care is is the first sacrifice. Am I wearing shoes? What shoes? <laughs> no, no shoes. <laughs> uh, so, what are people paying for? Uh, people are paying for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, uh, we're talking about opportunity costs. We're talking about working uh, in your business versus on your business. What does that mean? You know, so it gets a little bit crazy, and I and I still think I missed somebody that I was supposed to supposed to pull. That's okay. I'll figure that one out. But, you know, this is where somebody like uh, Dianellis, plan with a D, you know, pulls out her organizer and says, time management, time management. And I said, listen, you know, time management is great if you have enough hours in the day to do everything. But when you don't, oh, my God, where do the hours come from? And that's what we're saying. You, maybe you're not getting enough sleep. Maybe you're not taking care of yourself health-wise or, or um, even self-care-wise, you know. Sometimes I'm just like running up and down the stairs and I'll be like, ah, let me just stretch a little bit, Ugh. you know, and it feels good. Uh, but I'm not exercising enough. I'm not sleeping enough. I'm not eating properly. Uh, these are all things that happen when you, when you're getting stuck, when you're getting stuck in your business and, and it needs to be broken eventually, you know, and when that happens is always the question. You know, because something eventually has to give. Uh, let's see, TB, Shrekky Lou, Lequindy. I guess I did get everybody. Oh, that's a lot. All right. Well, I guess I got everybody. But these are all things that are important, you know? Uh, and time management is a consideration when you have enough time. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep this really short tonight. Uh, I'm really grateful for all your support, guys. Uh, you know, this week we're going to send out probably close to 300 packages. Uh, I couldn't do it alone. I couldn't do it without some help uh, from my team, Alicia and, and Kristen and JR. Uh, but it's still the brunt falls on me. Uh, and that's fine. And <clears throat> I'm looking forward to the day where I can work on my business. And let's talk about more what that means, right? Because we talked about working in the business a lot. We talked about the sacrifices that, that you know, that entails. Uh, but when you're working on your business, you're able to do more product sourcing, right? I'd love to get more variety of products, right? But I don't have enough time to deal with additional wholesalers, Right? So, like, for example, the clubs, I'm good with gold. Gold is great, right? The gold club is on fire. We sold 100 one-tenth pieces last Friday in three hours. And we sold 400 MS-70 Type 2 slabs in the last few days. This is what you're seeing, you know, on top of an auction, on top of post sales, on top of that consistency that's important, right? So that's, that's maintenance of the business model. Uh, but... What, is really, what does it really mean to, to work on your business? What does it mean for me? For me, it means expanding lists and databases. It means expanding my web presence. It means expanding uh, my social media presence. There's Doge, by the way. Uh, and it means uh, just more brand extension. But the truth is, I don't have time. I barely have time to make a Facebook post here and there. Uh, and when I do, sometimes it's nice to just have five minutes to myself and I find myself just scrolling through Facebook a little bit, but you know, the most important thing at the end of the day is that if you're growing your business, have goals in mind, like in all my chaos, I definitely do have some goals. Um, and probably in the next couple months, my goals are going to change and they're going to evolve. Uh, as they should in business. Uh, one of our advantages on Instagram in, in terms of working in our business and on our business, right, is that we are able to be nimble. What does that mean? Uh, somebody asked me about 
doing a certain thing with a big company. And I said, you know, it's funny. I, I approached them about this and I basically just got the runaround. Uh, a big company, a billion dollar company, they're not nimble. They're not ready to say, yeah, let's, let's, I like that idea. Let's do it. It's got to go up the chain of command. Then they got to talk about it. And then they have to have a meeting. Then they have to have a meeting about having meetings. Uh, and then they'll meet about that. And then, you know. Uh, but the truth is, when you're a small business, you're able to be nimble if you have the time. Uh, you know, and being nimble means uh, sourcing new product. It means this. It means that. And it means doing things without any type of a, uh, how do you say, like almost like a, like, a, like a bureaucratic red tape. You know, you can just make decisions and make moves, uh, like to do a merch page or this or that. Uh, and that's one of the powerful advantages we have, you know. Neophyte stacker, you know. Stacking is a beautiful thing, and we've got a lot of opportunities here, uh, both as uh, collectors and stackers and as entrepreneurs in this community. But it takes real work, effort, and dedication, you know. And it's important to balance the, those, uh, those factors out with the risks. There's risk and reward, you know. And that goes along with working in the business and on the business. Because there are risks to working in the business, to getting bogged down. There are physical, uh, mental, and emotional risks, uh, for sure. You know, when you lose sight of balance, you know, and you find yourself working 80, 90 hours a week to maintain a status quo, what happens is when you're working 80 to 90 hours a week to maintain a status quo, you're probably going to grind through and push through and maintain the status quo. But 80 to 90 hours a week is not a sustainable, healthy model, not for any long term, uh, for a long period of time. So the way you exit that is to work on your business, to develop processes, to do brand extension, to do all these things that we've kind of talked about, you know, and, and I hope that's what's in my future. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Can we get some Silver Degenerates TEP coins? Hmm. Anything is possible. Come on. Who are you talking to? Stacking NYC, baby. Um, probably not because that is a uh, an exclusive to a major dealer, retailer, wholesaler. So I don't I don't know that that's something I would do. But there are some things I'm working on, not far off from that. So what do you guys think? Do you guys have any questions about working in your business, on your business? Do you have any thoughts? Uh, Crazy Train said something good. He can relate. You know, when you have labor uh, issues, you know, my feet are clean-ish. You think I should go wash my feet? I run around barefoot all day. You want me to go wash my feet? I, I mean, I would do that. But, you know, you guys... <laughs> Stop. You know... Uh, what kind of questions do you have besides uh, if I'm barefoot or comments do you have besides I should wash my feet? <laughs> Dear Nellis, I didn't know you were so into my feet. <laughs> They're not bad. Ish. Um, yes, Alicia is laughing. Ha, ha, ha. All my girls are laughing. Nobody has shoes in this house. Nobody wears shoes in this house. Uh, thoughts on, on silver spot price in 2022? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I don't really like to play the crystal ball game. Um, the reels are great. Uh, yeah, let me think about some Instagram tips for you. Consistency is important. Uh, spot price, I don't like to speculate, uh, Neophyte, but I, I will say this. I have a strong feeling we are in a 2008 to 2011 cycle. Uh, and if you have been stacking for any period of time or you know your, your uh, commodities history, we could be heading north. There you go. There you go. So basically, whoever's live you're in, whether it's mine or Brett's or uh, Liz's, uh, when you go live with them, they will draw a winner for you. I will be drawing winners on uh, Saturday night. Uh, the donors have the option to come live with me. I will draw a name. I'll say, this is your winner. You've got to connect with them. You've got to mail them their piece. You can show the piece uh, live. 
Uh, you can introduce yourself. What is your recommended percentage of weight on three metals, gold, silver, platinum, to stack before the end of the year? Um, you know, as a dealer, uh, I don't. I have a, a funny definition of stacking. Uh, basically, whatever I have, I consider my inventory. Uh, so my faith is truly in silver. Uh, gold is close to, it's closer to its all-time highs than silver, certainly. So if you look at it from an on-sale perspective, from a 2008 to 2011 model, uh, I think that if you're not backing the truck up on silver, you know, you have to reevaluate and decide what's right for you. Uh, you know, I certainly don't give advice. I know that uh, if I sell uh, 500 ounces a week, let's say, uh, I'm trying to buy 510 and there's 10 getting pushed into my deep stack back inventory, whatever you want to call it. I have stuff that, you know, I bought to sell that maybe I, I bought 100 and I can only sell 40. It happens. Uh, and what happens to the other 60? Yep. They're there. And they stay there. And I don't break them out, you know, if I don't think they're going to move uh, at a price that, you know, where I can make profit. I'd rather sit and let that be a hedge against a, a, a rise in silver. Um, Chris, you should do it. Reels of the fur babies. We can make them famous. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, but I like platinum because, first of all, I like metals because they are part of the future of technology. Uh, not all of them, not all employees suck, Kristen. <laughs> Just the ones I yell at all the time. Hmm. That would be all of them. Oh, that would be all of them. Oh my God. Is, is that a cry for help? What is, what is going on? Oh my God. Uh, I think, I think my, my helpers are, are crying for help and like, do I stock at all without getting too personal? I mean, do I buy stocks? Is that what you mean? Do you? Uh, I do not. I do not. Uh, I, I put a, a few dollars into crypto, what I considered uh, gambling money. Kristen is amazing. So is Alicia and so is JR. Uh, man, I got to keep them in line, but they, they do pretty good. Uh, <laughs> employees are talking. Stop talking! No. <laughs> I did. I did take them out for ice cream. What was the one piece you just couldn't get rid of? Uh, I think. Oh, I know. I don't even remember who I sold it to. Shoot. I think that the the one piece I I not regret selling, but I sort of miss was is my uh, reverse proof Kilo Libertad. It was such an incredible piece. Um. Yeah, that that was a, that was a, that was a that was a hard one for me to get rid of, but I did. Uh, I have a nice Libertad set up there. That's a, a magnificent seven. I haven't uh, tried to sell that, so um, I love my Libertads. Um, what else? Are there other ones? Not particularly. Yeah. Yep, that was that was a tough one, Faraday. Guys, check out Calor Ten Thirty. He's got an uh, an awesome YouTube channel. Guys, make sure you're following each other on Instagram. Make sure you're following each other through the community Gaw. Make sure you're following all the donors. Uh, every year, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. Every year, somebody's feelings get hurt, rightfully so, rightfully so. When I draw a name and I say, "Oh, I'm so excited to send." This ounce of silver to, to that person, and they realize they're not even being followed by the person that won the silver. It's happened to me. And it, and it kind of feels bad. But, like I say, uh, in the spirit of the gaw, I would encourage you to, uh, you know, we can, we can be sticklers to the letter of the law all we wish. And I always say it's up to the donor. I always advise, give it in good faith. Assume that it was a mistake or whatever. Uh... I am a fan of NGC. I think the, the slabs are more beautiful. Uh, I think they're more durable, too. I think they're less likely to chip uh, because of those ridges on the PCGS slabs. But I like PCGS, too. Uh, the, I mean, Annex is... Eh, I'm not a fan of the slabs, the design. Um, you know. But, you know, maybe, maybe they'll change sometime. 
<sighs> Boy, I brought the energy tonight, didn't I, guys? Well, I love you. Come on, more questions. Help me. Help me help you. More questions, more thoughts. No stocks, metals, mostly silver, uh, some gold. Remember, metals are different, different, used for different things. Uh, gold, international medium of exchange, uh, silver, industrial workhorse, platinum, industrial workhorse, and jewelry. So, you know, if you guys have questions, Kristen, you have a question? Miss Laffy Face? Uh, let's see. Uh, see, tengo sueño, mucho sueño. Uh, energy no. drinks? No. Uh-uh. I don't need energy drinks. I only had I only had like three quarters of a pot of coffee today. They are fitted, so they are basically one size fits all. They are nice and stretchy, very comfortable, and I have a big head. Uh, which do I believe holds more value, PCS or NGC? I, I've talked about that a little bit. If if you have a coin, uh, particularly something on the rare side. Uh, Kristen, you, you got, you got Apple Tuesdays. I didn't get Apple Tuesdays. You did. We, I took you all to Apple Tuesdays. <laughs> I took you all to Apple Tuesdays. I take them out to eat. I'm good to these guys. Don't let them fool you. Uh, one of the things I always suggested is if you have a, a particularly a rare coin, uh, to go look at the populations of PCGS and NGC. And check out the populations. And I would submit it to the to the lower population uh, company. So, like, let's say you have Rare Coin X, and there are fifty Rare Coins in MS70 and NGC, but there are twenty in PCGS. I would submit it to PCGS because there's only twenty as opposed to fifty. Does that make sense? Alicia always tells the truth. In fact, Kristen, you did get ice cream at Apple Tuesdays. All right, guys, what kind of questions do you have? What other questions? All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stay live until uh, a half hour, so two minutes and twenty seconds. Uh, those are hockey pieces. They're like actually very cool hockey pieces, grandeur pieces, if you will. You want to do see an unboxing? Upper deck. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a little dust there. Whoops. There we go. Uh, let's see. Hold on. There we go. Very cool hockey piece. Vladimir... Tarasenko. They're numbered. They're colorized. Very cool pieces. Very cool pieces. Let me see if I can pop that out for you. I'll look at the other side, too. Oh, my God. This thing's complicated. My God. Cook Islands, 2017. Am I in trouble again? No. What are you guys laughing at? The girls are making fun of your stinky, dirty feet. Leave my feet alone. All of you. Oh, my God. Something happened. All right. So that's what that is. Somebody wants you to... Oh. Um... Make me an offer, man. Like, I, I've been sitting on these for a long time. I'm ready to throw a bunch in a... In a there, I think I have, like, three or four players. I'm ready to just throw them in a medium flat rate box for you, bro. They're not super cheap. I don't think they're super expensive, though, either. So, if you're if you're interested, hit me up. I'll, I'll figure out what players I have, and we'll make a deal. I think they go for, like, 50 or 60 bucks a piece. Something, something along those lines. Guys, there's 20 people in here and 14 likes... You're breaking my heart. I'm here 13 hours for you guys, and I can't even get the number of likes as there are people in the room. What are you guys going to give me, a thumbs down? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know how to like it. You don't know how to like it? My uh, God. 
Oh, so people are like, we'll, we'll solve that problem. We're just going to leave. <laughs> Instantly, the room dips to like three. I think it's a leave just like it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, any Red Wings? I don't think so. I think that they might be Canadian. I don't know. They're like Canadian and stuff. I don't know. But um, that's funny, guys. Anyway, I love you to death. Um, all right, you're off the hook. TB, and I got your payment. You're uh, getting shipped tomorrow, brother. Uh, I definitely love you guys. Uh, you know, Tuesday nights, as much as I, I really want to, forgiven, forgiven, as much as I wanted to, like, say, hey, man, I just have too much going on tonight with all this shipping, I said, no, I got to do it. I got to do it. <laughs> My dedication to you guys is real. It's a real commitment. Uh, and I mean that, sincerely. So, and it's, and it's also about me keeping my word to myself, you know? It's easy to say, ah, I'm tired, ah, this, or ah, I have other things to do. But you know what? I'll sleep when I'm dead, baby. How are you stacking?